Tanya, don't be touching your face. No. Don't be touching your face. Is your nose itchy? No. Hello, guys. Welcome back to our weekly vlogs. I have this huge pimple right here. I have this one growing, if you guys care. I mean, Mom, I don't think I you guys do. It is so beautiful outside, but I've been having a hard time putting my mind in, like, positive thoughts. I've been just so overwhelmed with, like, sadness. And um, if you guys didn't know, like I've said 10,000 times, it's almost a year since my brother passed away. And I don't know, I feel like it's been hitting me harder and harder lately. And I just... I have a hard time seeing the, the light at the end of the tunnel and it's been hard it's been I, I feel like I can't say it's just been hard on me because it's been hard on everyone like my family his friends um, people who knew him I mean a year living without him has been hard but I know I'll be okay but it's hard like I came out here and I didn't want to come out here with the kids I kind of just want to sit in my dark room and Sissy, don't do that. You know, like, I came out here, and the kids wanted to play, and I kind of, I just, the first time I came out here, I'm like, no, we have to go inside. It was like, the sun was just too much for me. And then the second time they came out here, and I'm like, fine, like, I will sit out here, even though it kind of hurts. I don't know, I feel like an aching. I kind of just want to go, go to sleep, lay down, like. But it's a beautiful day today. It's really hot it was a beautiful day yesterday i am getting ready to go my sister just took a few pictures of me with this look right here i'm wearing a maxi skirt and that should be all ready i'm edited and put on my instagram if you guys would like to follow my personal instagram i will link it down below um i usually don't link my personal instagram below and i actually just made it private or public not i used to have it private but now i made it public so for anybody wants to go follow me there follow me um and i'm getting ready to go i'll show you guys whenever i get it downloaded and edited all that stuff so um yeah they're so cute that's so mean So he got owie? Uh -huh. Uncle Sam got owie? Uh -huh. That's just a picture, Leah. Just a picture. Uh -huh. Yeah, no more. Uh -huh. Uncle Sam. Yeah. Look at this huge mirror. This huge mirror. Really like this bed set. I like this one, but I like the other one better. Look at this huge mirror. Guys, so we took a trip down to Kansas City, which is like two and a half hours um, from where we live. Um, but we're sorry for that really annoying noise. I know it's really annoying, but we are shopping for some fabric. My sister started doing like photography. I'm so proud of her and it, they, her pictures come out beautiful. So if you guys want to go check her out, I'll leave the link to her, um, what's it called? Photography page down below, um, for you guys. But we are helping her out a little bit and we're just trying to find some like, um, some like, What's this called? What is this called? What is this called? Um, like fabric. That's what I'm trying to say. So like she can hang on her wall, or we like we can get something for her to hang it on and take pictures. Um, so we're helping her out, but we're definitely trying to find like like cheap stuff. Like we're not trying to go all out and stuff like that. So we've been looking at like thrift stores, and you know, like we're just going on the sale side of the store because we don't want to get anything too like expensive because she's just barely starting out. We want to see if she really really enjoys doing this or not. But yeah, so we're just getting her like fabric. I got her like a mustard yellow one because I really do like that color. So we're gonna try that on me. 
and I want a picture with like the kids in that. So we're gonna try that mustard yellow out. So I got the fabric for like three bucks at a thrift store, so we're good with eight. But yeah, there's like this whole thing, it's on sale. So yeah. Hey guys, so we've been shopping around for a little bit. I got some clothes at Gordsman. And I think I'm gonna do a haul for you guys again, but we're just getting my sister a few more things. We grabbed her this basket, and I think it's cute. She wants a basket because she's gonna do a newborn photo shoot, so I think it's really cute for that. And um, we're just gonna put a pillow in it, and then probably get some like fuzzy cloth, like what's it called, fabric, and put it over it, and then just like lay the baby down. He's a newborn baby. I got her this right here. Um, with some chalk markers so she can um what's it called so she can like she's gonna do a maternity shoot soon so much pretty things here at Hobby Lobby everything is so cute <coughs> Tony fell asleep without his thumb in his mouth look I didn't take it out or anything he just fell asleep like this and he didn't have to play with my hair And he wasn't tired, we were just literally like tickling each other and like laughing just like a minute ago. So I don't think he was tired, like he wanted me to keep going. I'm like, Anthony, go to bed. Okay. Yay, Anthony. No thumb. I'm proud of you, Anthony. Good job. Good job, bud. Okay. Hey guys, guess what? I want spring break. You are on spring break. We haven't, we haven't done much. Done. Yep, it's almost over. Yeah. Mm, today's your last day of spring break. Mommy, going to school next Dad, week. No, honey, you can't. Hi guys, this is gonna be part of the vlog because I feel like I just didn't record for you guys much last week, and I felt like. I love you guys so much. You know, the ones that do watch my, my vlogs, like, I love you guys. There's people who watch my vlogs every single week. There's, you know, people who comment on my videos and tell me how much they love it. And I feel like you guys are part of my family. You guys are part of my life. And it feels amazing. Um, and I just want to let you guys know that last week was really hard for me. And these past few weeks, or these next few weeks are probably going to be even harder for me. And I've been always been very open with you guys. Sorry, I just need to scoot it up a little bit. I've always been very open with you guys on how I feel and what's going on in my life, what's going on with my feelings, what I'm going like through mentally. So um, if you guys didn't know, my brother passed away on April 13th, and that's here in like a few weeks. Um, and March was the month that we struggled, I feel like, the most. Um, and there, like, I've never been in this point in my life and I'm learning, like, I'm pretty sure in the second year I'll probably know what I'm feeling again and how everything is gonna work out, but this is the first year that I've gone through life without him, like, physically here. And I feel like I've just been really pensive throughout these, these few weeks and this last week. Um, and so it's, life has been just tough for me and I haven't turned on the camera because I haven't done much um, and um, I've really just, I've, I haven't done much, I've just stayed home um, and I haven't felt the need to turn on the camera because I feel one feeling and that's grief, like grief, it's like something that's like on my back and I can't get rid of it and um, also if you guys... Um, AJ and I are going, well, we're not going through anything really. I ended it with him and I feel like it's honestly the last, um, the last thing. Uh, I'm not going to tell you guys what, you know, happened, what went on. Um, but I definitely feel like I'm actually like done and um maybe later on i'll tell you guys maybe how i knew maybe what happened um but it also hasn't been a good week with that i feel like life is just really piling 
on me lately like it's just kind of hitting me um and it's not like my days are horrible and terrible and you know like it's just i feel sad i feel sad a lot of the days and i mean it's hard to get rid of the sadness i mean i can i can put on a face i like i can go to church i can go to the store it's easy for me to like act like i'm happy and pretend like i'm okay but in reality, I'm not. And I know that maybe some of you guys might notice that in my vlogs. And I just wanted to sit down and tell you guys that um, I'm not doing okay. And I probably won't be doing okay for a while. But I'm going to keep putting content up for you guys. I, I definitely have some videos in mind um, to make for you guys. And Anthony's tracing his foot. He's so cute. <laughs> Anthony's tracing his foot. Uh, but what's it, what's it called? Um... So I have some content that I'm going to put up for you guys, especially now that I'm in my deepest, you know, moments of grief, I believe. Or maybe they're not even the deepest, they're just the hardest. No, they're probably... I, I always tell myself, let's say you've been through the hardest moments so you can get through this. Like, I've been through the hardest moments, which is realizing that my brother was gone and going through everything. That was the hardest. Living one year without him, that was the hardest. But it's just like sometimes we ignore our feelings. We try to be okay. We try to put them aside and we don't really cope with them or anything like that. So I'm just going through a hard time right now and I want to let you guys know that. Um, and not for you guys to be like, oh, like we love you. Us, you're, like what can we do for you? What, like no, it's just to let you guys know that I'm a human being and I go through the, I'm going through this and I'm just a human, you guys. Like I feel sad. I feel, I feel lonely i feel like i'm crazy you know i feel what you feel i feel what a lot of human beings feel and i never want to portray my life as perfect or as anything that it isn't because that's not what my videos are about so with this being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video for the little clips that i did um, include in this um, vlog. I love you guys so much. Don't ever forget that. You guys are honestly something um, or some like you guys are some of the people that make me feel okay. Like I can turn on this camera and I f like I tell you guys what I feel like and it helps me a ton and um, and thank you guys for that. Thank you for listening to me putting up with me for um loving me for loving my little family um and i will talk to you guys next week don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you do subscribe make sure to click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you will get notified whenever we upload a video thank you guys so much for watching and we'll talk to you guys next week bye